Geminis, a welcome to your mid-month tune-up for November 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just send me an email, a DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Geminis? For the middle of November 2022, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? What are the energies that Gemini can expect in the middle of November 2022? We have the Knight of Coins and the Upright. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. Challenge position, we have the Queen of Cups in the Upright. In my playlist are your 2023 sun moon predictions. I have 30 or so, so more to go. Put your requests in the comments. I will put your request in queue. 2022s are still in there, so check and see if they rang true for you or for somebody else. Advice is the Ten of Spears in the upright. And how will Gemini be moving forward out of November into December? We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Um, okay, so... And the Knight of Coins in the Upright is telling me that you have a plan, okay? Um, some sort of plan in mind. It's nothing you're going to rush into. Uh, you're thinking out the different pieces, all the moving parts. Um, it can take all the time in the world. You just want to make sure that you do it right, and it has as little risk, little risk involved with it as possible. You're fine working very hard to get there. Um, so you don't have a problem with the hard work. You don't have a problem being patient, but you just had to make sure that the right plan is in place for order in order for this to kind of uh, work out the way that you want it to. Um, so I get the sense in the middle of November, you're, you're carefully, uh, like I said, observing things, looking forward, what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? How are you going to kind of go about it? Because you really want to make sure that it works. Whatever it is, I mean, it could be a relationship, uh, career related, project related, whatever related, okay, personal, personal project related. Um, and it can even be personal development too. So that's what the deal is with that. Slow and steady wins the race, so to speak. And the challenge of position, uh, Queen of Cups in the upright. So I believe it or not, I think that the problem with whatever this is, is you're emotionally invested. Um, I mean, and you'd think that wouldn't be a bad thing, but if you're too, if you're too tied to something, if you have a deep connection, you're too emotionally invested in something, that can actually guide your judgment. Uh, that can actually kind of suck you in, and then what your emotion, and then you start making emotional decisions. So, um, I do feel that's what the challenge is, and that you need a little bit more uh, pragmatic sense about you, um, rather than uh, kind of getting sucked into how you feel about it or. Um, you know, what have you. Um, I'll know more when I pull clarifiers, but that's what I'm kind of getting. So with the uh, advice card, we have the 10 of spears in the upright. So what they're saying is it's all well and good that you're working hard, but you might be overdoing it, okay? 10 of spears is when you're taking on more than your share of the load or more than your back can actually handle. Um, you just, you know, are carrying the weight of the world, so to speak. You might be doing this because you don't feel you can trust people to delegate to. So you feel like, well, they can't do it right, so I need to do it right. Or you might kind of feel like, well, if I do all the work, um, you know, I'll get all the credit, I'll get all the glory. Um, but what happens is it's it ends up being a lot of work and uh, very little rewards for the responsibilities you're kind of taking on. So, um, and what they're saying is gonna happen is if you continue on this road, it's gonna cause a lot of stress, a lot of exhaustion. Uh, you might just break down because you won't be able to take another step. Um, it's really strange because I just, I, I heard a story and uh, I was listening to an audible, I listened to Spanish audibles and they had one about um, the donkey and the horse and I don't know, the, the donkey taking on uh, more than his load, the horse didn't have anything and um, the donkey couldn't take like another step. Um, his owner had mistakenly loaded him up too much. I, I think it's a folk tale or something like that. So the, the donkey keeps on asking the horse for help and the horse is like, no, I'm not gonna help you. Um, and then what happens is the donkey collapses and the owner puts the, um, puts the donkey and the load on the horse's back and himself, and then the horse has to carry everybody back. So if, if you don't share the load, um, you, you know, you could actually break down and just not be able to do anything at all. So um, I don't know why I thought of that, but I, if anyone knows the name of that folk tale or whatever, let me know. I didn't, I'd never heard of it before. I thought maybe it was a Spanish thing. Um, 
I am Spanish, by the way, but I always had to practice my Spanish. Anyways, um, <laughs> so as you move forward, I'm seeing that part of the reason why um, they're telling you to put down this uh, load, so to speak, is because you continue forward with unrealistic expectations of something happening. And again, I feel as though uh, your uh, emotions, your ego, um, you wanting things to go a very certain a certain way um, has really kind of taken control. So and it has really sucked you in. Um, so, you know, you need to scale back on that a little bit. Um, you need to lower the bar. You need to make things more reachable. Um, if, if you do, if, I mean, it's great to have really high goals, but, um, you know, make them so they're attainable. Otherwise, you're setting yourself up for failure and, and disappointment and things of that regard. So I don't know what you have going on, but that's what I'm kind of seeing. Let's see what the Knight of Coins is about. Why is the Knight of Coins here for Gemini's? Who's this person? What's this energy? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. Okay, there is something emotionally. Because we have the Knight of Cups here in the upright. So there is an emotional connection of some sort. You had doubt. You didn't have clarity in regards to how to kind of make this come together. Um, so that's what you're carefully piecing together and figuring out. Um, it's something, like I said, absolutely sweeps you away. Um be careful you're not romanticizing things or being idealistic. That can be that can be something that kind of gets thrown in here with the Knight of Cups and the Upright. And I do see you observing things. So I do see you observing the horizon and getting your facts, um, getting statements, getting whatever you need in order to proceed. But you're not going to, it doesn't seem like you're going to proceed until you know what you're getting into because you're being very cautious, okay? Um, all right, why is the Queen of Cups here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. All righty. Okay, so you're emotionally invested in this, but you also don't have the confidence that this is necessarily going to work out. Um, the challenge is you kind of feel like it, it might be great in the beginning and then uh, those energies are going to kind of fall off and you're going to be left with nothing. Um, maybe that's why you're being cautious. Another challenge is that your judgment is kind of off skewed. Um, or they're also telling you, or end, they're also telling you that if you continue, continue to be emotionally invested in this, what's going to happen is it's going to skew your judgment. You're not going to be able to assess the situation for what it really is. You're going to um, be very biased um, because of what you want things to be or because of what you're feeling. Um, so just be cautious of that. Also, I'm just telling you to be cautious the whole time, right? Why is this kind of spears here in the upright for advice? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, there's the disappointment. So they're saying if you continue on the road that you're on. You keep continue to take home more than you should. You continue to say, oh, if I just work like so hard, I'm killing myself, um, you know, to attain something that's unattainable. Um, you're going to be a very disappointed. You could be sad. A depression could follow along with that. They're saying it, it's really great to have a something that you want to do from a practical sense and a plan, um, you know, plan and have the seed of an idea. I mean, that's a wonderful thing, um, something that's viable and that's going to work, but they're telling you you're going to need help along the way. So you're going to need a team, a support team. You're going to need people involved, uh, a collaboration, something like that, where everyone's all working together to attain this. There's no way you can do it entirely all by yourself. You might need a partner. Some of you are starting a business. You might want to consider a partner. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to do it all on your own. So that's what they're kind of telling you. Why is the Nine of Cups here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages, please. Okay, Two of Swords in reverse with the... Okay. So you do have some sort of fairy tale or something in mind, and here you are again overdoing it to kind of make it work. You keep on telling yourself, if I just work my butt off, this is going to happen. Uh, when I get to the pot of gold, the end of the rainbow, everything's going to be wonderful. Um, you're also putting a timeline on yourself with the two of swords in reverse. I, I feel like you're saying um, there's a decision that you're making, but I feel like it's you're saying to yourself, I need to be here at this point in time and it absolutely needs to happen. If it doesn't happen then, then everything's gonna like fall apart and be negative and what have you. So I, I don't know what you're um, you know, really obsessed about kind of making things work to that degree. But again, um, 
you know, he built uh, castles in the sky um, that are too high. Um, you think of Jack and the Beanstalk. What happened to that giant dude, man? Um, <laughs> he ended up falling for the Beanstalk. Um, but anyway, so that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715 or or wait, or, and or, and click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically in my playlist or your 2023 sun and moon predictions. I have about 30 or so left. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. Uh, 2022s are still in there. So see if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any links below in support of my channel. That is always appreciated. Otherwise, Geminis, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.